hey welcome back to our channel welcome back to another video and before we start this video i want to you guys to help me appreciate this beautiful lady here <laughs> that's a surprise though. <laughs> she wasn't expecting it but this lady is a very strong woman and i'm so appreciative of the fact that i have her as my wife yeah Hey, these two fingers in there. <laughs> All right. This video um, is a question that some of our subscribers have sent to us. And I, I think it's, it's something that is happening out there to a lot of people and have been to send it to us to want us to share it with you in answering her question means that it's really dear to her heart. And I'm praying and trusting that by the answers that we give, it will help you as well. Oh, if, yeah. if, if um, perhaps you find yourself in such That's situation. situation. Yeah. And if you have any advice for her. If you have any advice for her as well, you, you can leave it in a comment. Leave it in the comment, yeah. She, she will read it. Because once this video is uploaded, I'll send her the link to watch. And then once the comments are flowing, she'll be able to work she with it. Yeah. All right. So we have other we have a lot of questions that have been given to us to answer we are just trying and working on it so that we'll be able to uh, work with that well yeah. many times um the the times are a bit off and the hamatan is just the hamatan is crazy oh, it's God. just beating yeah. me in which i'm <laughs> it's fine, but okay. it's well. so i'm going to read the questions out then we'll try and answer it <laughs> um, as much as possible as we can okay so this is what she said just after watching that's uh, that was after the the food challenge after i posted a food challenge she she actually mentioned that she went all the way from the beginning to watch all our videos mm -hmm. until the food challenge so she was like after watching your videos on youtube yeah. i have a lot of questions to ask you i was like really okay so ask the questions are a lot. Should we take it step by step? Yeah, let's take it step by step. Okay. I think the first one should. So we want to take it step by step so that we can be able to address it properly for you to be able to get it. Well, the first one is she says she wants to settle down in two years' time. That is from now, from this year. So two years' time. So two years' time will be like when? 2024. 2024. Okay. 2024. Or oh, um, this year in 2023. So maybe the starting of 2024. 2024. Okay. Yeah. My question is, why not settle down now than want to settle down in two years' time? Okay, so me, I think everybody in their plan, you know, we sometimes we are there and we are like, we are not ready, maybe in two years' time we'll be ready. But I think when you're not ready, that's when you're ready. So even though you're planning for two years' time, maybe she knows her financial um state and how she wants everything to go maybe her planning and everything how a wedding would go and everything yes but the second question was no, there's something called cutting the coat according to your size yes the question is we had our share of the wedding ceremonies right and later you realize that all of these things are not necessary if you finish it at the end of the day my point basically is that mm -hmm. in two years time if it is about wanting to get ready in two years time <laughs> and the point is and i agree with what you said yeah. nobody is ever ready mm -hmm. nobody is ever ready and because nobody is ever ready you won't precisely and concretely know when you are ready mm. so and I also believe that the time that you are actually not ready is the time you are ready. ready and sure. here is why I believe that. The time that you are not ready, for me, it tells me that you don't need anybody to complete you. Well, because many people get into relationships with different reasons, different motives. And for some people who want to be in a relationship because they want somebody to complete them. They want somebody to be their better half. I always believe that nobody is our better half. Either you are full and I'm full, or you are half and I'm half. I mean, you know what I mean? So I think that if that two years time is when you want to get ready, it's not a problem. 
but wait till you get to that two years time and see whether you'll be truly ready mm. or not yeah so i believe the best way is what scripture says it says by wisdom a house is built that's proverbs by wisdom a house is built by understanding it is established just by knowledge all the chambers are filled with precious and pleasant riches basically if you want to get married uh, there's a whole lot though when you want to get married and you're thinking about two years time there are a lot of factors to consider you have to have wisdom that is carefully planning it okay so yeah i i i, I understand what you're saying the careful plan uh, <laughs> they're carefully planning it and all but what if maybe okay you have the plans of getting married but at the moment you don't have money you don't have any resource for for that and you are working as a temporary um worker you're not a permanent staff like i would plan towards it yes unless plan towards it is, is the important part unless and and maybe i, I can give myself like okay in one and a half year time to come i would plan towards this way and then i know that but what if we get there in my mind you know, the, the mind changes so that's also another factor to consider you are waiting to, for two years time you get to that, that two years time and your mind will change a lot of things can happen a lot of between, things can happen between, between you uh, and him between you and him you can start nagging exactly all of that you know exactly even though two years in, in chamber though it's it entails a lot and the second question was and the second question was that and he said when, when i become financially that's the guy is saying that you should become financially stable when the lady becomes financially, financially stable, stable then they can start pl- saving together and plans towards the wedding, the wedding. it's <laughs> i can't think far for this guy i don't know when when he came and he was showing me the message i was like i should read this message i was like I, the only thing i could do was to shake my head i'm like why would a man wait for you to become financially stable before you guys marry he has his own plans because um a man who really wants who really wants your good who really wants to marry you who really thinks about you cares about you has love not the other love but like the agape kind of love yeah. for you first of all that, that unconditional love is built on the inside yes he wouldn't wait for you to be financially stable before you get married like yeah. yes he won't wait for you to be financially stable yeah i think i also believe that if a man really wants to marry you he's the one who's going to marry you i i believe that because he's the one who's going to marry you uh, many many times they will say all the cost is on him but but it is prudent enough that you the woman you support for just, sure. so, just so that just so that you are not drained for sure so if he's saying that you should wait till you both start saving before you get married um, he has his own plans i think he has his own plans yeah, yeah. you know it, some people can pretend and be with you you make your money and they spend it and then they move from you yeah. so like to be sincere i don't see any reason i don't see any positive reason from his side saying he wants you to be financially stable if he wants you to be financially stable then he should set you up before you marry yeah that one we know that okay i set me up i know by one year two years the business will boom up and even with that how would you know if the business would get to that stage yeah. or not yeah so so you would look at this question you even realize that if he's waiting for you to be financially stable, two years time is is, is small a time. Yes. Two years time can come right and before you realize that pass your eyes. Yes. So two years time is so small. And this time. kind of man would see a lady who has everything and would leave you and go there because of the money. Another thing to yes. another thing to that I want to say say is that until you are really married, and that was one of the things that I learned from my pastor's wife mm-hmm. before we even started counseling. Until you are married to the lady, your money is not his money. Yeah. And his money is not your money. Not at all. It, it is just, I don't want to use the word curtsy, but it's, it's just kindness enough for, for the person you claim you love. It's just mm. kindness enough for a man to say, oh, I want to give my lady maybe some monthly allowance. <laughs> or randomly, a woman or a man of best says, I'm 100 Ghana B. Yeah. You know? Uh, or I just, maybe you are thinking about her. That's, that's showing kindness. Because for me, I remember when 
we 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 got into the relationship and we started like you're only giving me money i was like okay i have my money fine but if i'm really in a situation but, oh, but, but, where but sometimes i give her money oh surprisingly she'll be there now and then i, I just lose something uh, i just <laughs> why like <laughs> don't worry don't worry <laughs> why do you want to like <laughs> until maybe team I, victor team victor we have to <laughs> I don't mind them. Actually, <laughs> so when I'm really in need of something in which I, I'm like, okay, maybe I have this, okay, let me ask him. Even if he gives me, fine. If he doesn't give me, I move. Not that I'm moving into a new relationship, but I'll still be there because you can't force someone to cater for you. Then why yeah. are you a human being? Yeah. Why were you born? Why were yeah. you trained? Why did you go to school? You have to do all of that. You have to have your own so if he is willing to help you from his heart um if he's willing to help you if he's willing to give you money every week every day then it's him that is that's the kind of man he is but there are some men at the moment it they are trying to wait oh um if i spend my money on you how would we end up Okay, someone would be like, oh, and yes, she means, let me just spend my money on her and uh, we move. If she leaves me, fine. If, if she doesn't leave me, we, we settle down with her. Mm. But you can't force a man to do, to, to give you money or anything, in which I understand. But a man who will tell you until you are financially stable before you guys start planning marriage. He has a plan. He has a plan. He definitely has a plan. He's not communicating it, but he yes. definitely has a plan in his mind. Also, I think my last point on this will be that if you be financially stable, it should be for yourself. Yes. Like be financially, uh, is it independent? Yeah, independent. Yeah, be financially independent for yourself. Yeah. And then my other statements, so it's both ways. Yeah. Either the man is financially stable for himself and you, the lady, are financially stable for yourself. Yeah. And then when it comes up to the issue of money, I think our attitude, our perspective, and everything about money must also change. You must also see it in a very different view. For sure. Just so that, because the whole point of money is that we must freely give. We must mm -hmm. willingly give. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be based on condition. Yes. If you are this, then we will do this. Yes. It shouldn't be like. It be okay. On when I give you this, I have to get this in return. Like no. It shouldn't be that way. And then look at this one too. It says where I'm currently working, it happened to be a contract job. And and you see, and she's looking for a job, another job to go on to. So just I'm sure she's looking for another job just because the of guy the wedding or of the, the wedding are having good and the guy like become financially stable before. But will God want you to become financially stable before he blesses you with something like no. no, no. no, 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 no. You start from scratch, like you start and get there with the person. But if your husband is telling you to be financially stable before he marries you, when you get into the marriage, a lot of things will happen. Yes. So on that note too, you have to really, really rethink about that. You don't have to feel pressured to want to be looking for a different job. No. And all you need, man, is to just, just add value to the job you are in. Yeah. Just play your role well. And I'm sure you get that promotion you are looking for. Yeah. Or don't, feel, don't, yeah don't feel pressured at all. Not because at when all. You, you see, when you allow yourself to feel pressure, you do things that later you regret. Yeah, one thing I have come to learn is I'd, I won't go and do something because someone wants me to. If my husband tells me to go and do this because he wants me, then it's like I'm not living for myself. I'm living for him. Yeah. In which I won't, I would never, the marriage won't even go on because we, we, we won't be happy in the marriage. Yeah. I will start nagging very soon. He will start complaining that I'm not yeah. doing these things well with, with the work and all of that. So I, I, I'm, yeah. I don't think, I think you should. Yeah, I, you think, should I even, think what she's saying, um, I learned it that it's called the act of singleness. Yes, the act where, of singleness. Where you, you, you focus on yourself as yeah. a man, you focus on yourself as a woman. Yeah. And you don't do anything really to, because he wants me to do it or she wants me to do it that's why i'll do it yeah. but you are doing it because you want to do it yeah that is you because you have your own will you have your own purpose you have your own so i want to be i want to look smart i want to look nice i want to wear that 
three-piece suit or that two suit Why don't you because I it? want to do it for myself. Yes. So whatever whatever the case be, let it be for yourself first. You have to do it for yourself first before any other thing. Because in when you are doing it for time. yourself, it is in through that that he will even admire you the more and appreciate you the more. For sure. Because I believe that every purposeful and every forward-looking man are looking for they are really looking for women who are making it out there to rather support them, to push them, to encourage them to rather do better. Yeah. So, I mean, in this field, challenge, challenge, challenge. Don't stress yourself to look for a different job. No. Just add a good quota to the job you are in. Yeah. Add value to it. And you see, they will promote you. And I or think, you get I better. Think, I think the lady should just add value to herself. Add more value to yourself. Your that, guy will just important. leave you in yeah, your add value to yourself. That guy will just leave you because um, no man, no man who has seen a woman with value will just come and tell the woman yeah to like save before, before let's say before man. get financially when stable. he sees what's in you he would marry you without a penny from exactly. you a, a lot has happened exactly yeah exactly so so we are moving on to the other ones the other one says that whether to create joint account to save into whether to get one bedroom apartment or two bedroom cause right now we started looking out for apartment. I would say stop looking for apartment with him. Don't do any joint Don't account. Don't do any joint account. I no. Right now, you are not married. No. Even the joint account, then you have to really sit down after you are married to really, really discuss it. Yeah. Because if you don't really talk about it and you do it and there issues won't be start understanding, happening, like if there's no understanding in that and the issues start happening, my sister, you won't like it. You are not married. You're why, not married. why do you want to do a joint account with a man you are not married no. to? If he's not having his own mind and how he wants to use your money or like he came in into the relationship with his own mindset why would he want a joint account with you when you guys are not married yeah like and then yeah so don't do it's it not at all. logic at all see, don't do you it. see if he is a man truly truly a man not a boy he has to be able to use his own money to leave his uncle's place and go and rent his own place and live in even before you would come there. Even before you would come there. So push him to rather do that. He should yes. be able to take his own money. If he's also working and he's making money, he should be able to use his own money to go and rent. You guys are not married. Why not would married. you share Forget about all your of those things. money into percentages? Uh, sorry, into percentage where you would go and rent a place even before you would get married? Forget about the whole thing. You've, like, I'm not sure the lady has heard of a lot of stories that's going on, like um, men doing Did that they? their yeah. wife know, after marriage and all of that like yeah. and you get into your marriage and you come out just in six months and one month no yeah listen listen marriage even marriage doesn't exempt people's evil thought or evil doing story For sure. i mean and then they are talking about cars as well because he said he wanted us to get a car and the car is sixty thousand to six. Hey, you can use that. And he <laughs> wants that. you to pay forty percent. Forty percent. You know how much money you will pay. Sixty percent. In which, if he has the sixty percent, why is he still living with his uncle? See, I use my own money to buy me a car for myself. I met him with my a job. car. She met me with a car. <laughs> <laughs> I but, but like to, to say, even if I met him, and he tells me I should give him forty percent to buy a car. I don't want to pull my legs back. I'm not sure he will hear from me again because it's not logic. Why should I help you? And 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 even the thing is, if we buy the car, who will be driving the car? Who will be driving the car? If you I'm mean, going to work, you are going to work. Who? You mean, who? Forget it. You and if he start driving the cars, women will start sitting in the car. Exactly. But every man who has a car will surely look outside. Exactly. And can just you can just get a lift from anybody. You can just drop someone off. You can just do this. And anything can happen. We are human. So, listen, like, listen. At the end of the day, you don't truly and really know this guy. No, I'm not you sure. You don't. You don't. No, if she does, and I'm, I'm sure, not sure. I'm sure, sure in the relationship, we don't know the whole full scope of the relationship. But from what you have said, that is why we are giving you this answer the best way we can. Yeah. So about the joint account no a very big no about apartment and renting don't even discuss whether two bedroom or single bedroom or anything no a rent, big no to that just rent for yourself and enjoy rent for life. yourself and enjoy like, see see right now eh, see right now eh, you have to even be in your father's house let him right. come and marry you from there and pick you away and then and then go and start see no. like marriage is a whole boy, boy it's very beautiful and you can't say i should 
like seriously after we marry and we will just put things together and fine but you're not expecting the woman to bring it fully our, our counselor said even if i make money in our marriage i become very rich and he he has money he